Hello there. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. Andrew here. I just wanted to make a quick video for all you guys. Um, it's for all of you who are starting out in a creative endeavor or um, let's say you're in a leadership position or starting new business or entrepreneur, anything like that. This is very, very important. And it's something that I feel isn't stressed enough, right? Um, because uh, at least where I come from in the film world, we glamorize being the director, right? And it's all glamorous. And um, but what the what I want to talk about is that um, you are gonna face a lot of negativity and a lot of haters. It just it's gonna happen, right? There's no two ways about it. It just doesn't matter who you please, and you shouldn't be pleasing anybody but yourself anyway. But you are, you're going to face all this shit, whether you like it or not, right? And I, it's very personal for me because for many years growing up, I didn't have that mindset. And, um, and it's not exactly, you know, politically correct to talk about, but especially me as, as a guy, uh, you know, we as a society don't like it, like to hear about you know, men coming out and saying, I've been bullied, I've been emotionally abused, but that's what happened to me from uh, middle school to all throughout high school. It was day in and day out, I was either bullied or made fun of. And it was all because at a very early age, I made my own vision for myself, which was that I am going to make it as a filmmaker. I'm going to make video uh, my job, my career, right? When I grow up. And I would tell people that in school. And my parents were, of course, very supportive and said that was my strength. But I, I didn't feel like that, right? I didn't have that mindset because I had no fucking friends, right? And I wanted friends. I wanted to to fit in. That was that was how I felt. And, and I felt like being different painted a target on my back. And, and it was really, really hard. You know, I felt literally hated all throughout my teens like I was just hated especially by girls I felt like hated and I was told you know you're never gonna have a girlfriend women are never gonna love you all throughout those eight years and and it really wasn't until I had a moment when I was in university where I I made the decision to stop that to stop this victim mentality, to stop this self-pity and say enough is enough. I'm tired of feeling like shit all the time. I'm tired of feeling that I'm just a victim of circumstance and I'm going to do whatever it takes, right, to, to not go through that again, not go through that emotional pain. And I made the decision that whatever I went through and, and you know, that I wasn't going to go through, I wasn't going to let that define me. And that's so critical. As, as Jordan Belfort says, and he's, he's uh, someone I looked up to, same with Gary Vee, said something similar. It's like, your past doesn't define you. You are the, you have to, I forget how he phrases it, but you, uh, it doesn't define you. Your past, you take from it, take the experiences that you glean from it. And you use those experiences to, to make you more effective, to make you a better leader, to make you a better artist, whatever it is. And that isn't an easy task, right? I'm still having to deal with it. I still, like, when I go back home, for example, I still feel like everyone hates me there. And I have to, like, talk myself out of it, right? Especially San Francisco. If I go back to San Francisco, I feel like everyone fucking hates me there. And that's part of the reason, right? Like, that's, you know, going through that experience in school is why I have, you know, social anxiety disorder is why, um, you know, and it's made it really, really hard. But, like, I'm using this story really to tell you that, you know, you're always going to have to deal with stuff like this, like I did. And whenever you, when you, whenever you say, I, this is my vision, right? For my life. And it doesn't fit the PC thing or whatever society says, 
that you should be doing or your parents say you should be doing, you're going to be met with friction. And we have to do is, is, is not let that, those opinions, right, to define who you are, right? Because it's your actions and your belief in yourself and then how you are going to, to add value to people. That's what matters, right? Not pleasing other people, right? And that's what I thought in, in freaking high school. If I please write people, maybe I'll be enough. Maybe I'll be enough then, right? That's what I tried to do. And it's just, nothing ever was. And, and don't play that game, right? You have to play the game on your terms. Like, what are, you, what are you trying to create? What are you trying to build, right? Like, when I made the film, uh, my most recent film, Vinlo's Lockers, like, it was the same thing. Just, just I had those same emotions come back in, uh, you know, just like through uh, middle school and high school. So I had people telling me, you're not going to make it. This isn't going to work. This film is going to fail. You should give up, right? I had people drop out left and right when I was starting that film. But because that was after that moment I had in university, I was like, no, you guys are on. Sorry, but you're incorrect. And the movie is successful. People love it. So there you go, the proof's in the pudding. So that's really the point, that's really the message I'm trying to get to you, to you folks is, is like, if you really wanna be a director, if you really wanna be an entrepreneur, if you really wanna be a creator, do it. But just be ready, right, for all the naysayers, but have that mindset. And as Gary Vee says, and if you don't follow Gary Vee or Jordan Belfort, you definitely should, uh, but as Gary Vee says, judge the judger. Right, and that's not the mindset I had in high school and middle school, and when I was starting out in university, it's like I I, I took a lot of things, um, a, a lot of opinions seriously. But if you're judging the people who are saying this stuff, it's like the bullies who bullied me, right? They were pathetic in here. They asked a lot of them were the jocks or the cool kids, whatever, right? And they had that status, but they were they were sad in the inside. And they're envious of me, right? Like I was told I was ugly all the fucking time. And, the, and, and I learned recently that it was because they're envious, right? That they, they, they found I was attractive or they're envious that I was more creative or I was chasing my dreams and they weren't because they're chasing their, the, the vision that their parents or whoever laid out for them instead of doing their own thing that they wanted to do, right? And that's, this is so important. It's like, if you're going to, like, again, if you're going to go do your thing, do it. But just know that you're going to encounter it and just take it as a sign that you're on the right path, right? Because anytime you're going to, anyone who's been successful, right, before they became a success, right, take your pick of whoever, encountered haters, encountered people telling them they were never going to do it. So anyway, I just want to leave you with that as a reminder you know, and hopefully you got some value from it. Um, feel free to write in the comments, you know, your experiences. I'd love to uh, engage with you guys, but have a great rest of your weekend.